just don't like the fact that I had to walk downstairs to get to the bathroom, but, and it's really clean. It has my flavors in last night's salsa. Last night's salsa at Don Taco tastes awesome. like fucking uh, marinara sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your terrible BNA. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam. Okay, if you're looking for a consistent YouTuber, I am her. She is me. So, yeah, make sure you join the fam because it's lit over here. I love posting content for you guys. Hence, <laughs> while I'm uploading this video, I am starting a new series on my channel. I will be doing food reviews. Not food reviews, but okay, I'll be doing restaurant reviews here and there. And today I'm filming my first one ever. I am going to Deliana. Girl, Delina, please get it together. It's five letters. I'm looking like at the sign because I'm outside of the restaurant right now. I just got ready and I'm going for the first time. And I'm going here for the first time ever with my best friend Raheli. I'm waiting on her to pull up. I just parked. And I'm excited. I Okay, so let me talk to you guys about what I plan on doing in these restaurant review videos. Okay, so on this series, I will be testing out places that I've been to before. I'll be testing out places that are brand new to me. Um, I have a lot of places on my bucket list that I want to hit. And as I am going to these restaurants, I will tell you guys the in and out. I want to cover like the exterior of the place, the interior, the location, the service, which sometimes can be a hit or miss because depending on the server, you may have like a good or bad day with that person in general. I don't know, but I'm going to give y'all the tea. I'm going to tell y'all how the food tastes, the drinks, you know, how the cleanliness of the restaurant, you know, if it was worth the money, all that. Okay, so I'm excited. If you are a foodie like me, you should really enjoy this series because I don't play when it comes to my food, okay? I don't. I want to have a good experience, and I feel like sometimes you can't always, you cannot always trust reviews that you find either on Yelp or. I'm sorry, especially for my um AirPod listeners. That was part of real life with y'all ear, low Santo. But sometimes you can't really, you know, take everyone's word seriously because you don't know. You don't, you don't know their taste palette. You don't know their taste buds. You don't know if they use seasoning in their food. Girl, somebody could give a place 10 out of 10 stars to recommend. And, you know, highly recommend the place. And then you pull up and the food is trash. I am here to let you know. I can cook. I come from a family that cooks. We throw down. I got good taste buds, y'all. I will never say you wrong. And I feel like this is very fitting for my channel because I love food. But I don't like to always cook. But I'm always down for a good time. You know, I'm always going to go out and I like to order a lot of stuff. I'm going to get an appetizer, a starter, a main course. I'm not always too, too here and there with the desserts. But for these reviews, I'll order one for y'all. And I'm definitely going to give me a cocktail or two. Maybe a shot on the side. You know, so, yeah. Y'all want to see what it looks like outside? My teeth look good. <laughs> I'm still in the car. Like I said, I'm waiting y'all not the bird shit oh my god that's not embarrassing but like i said i'm waiting on my friends to pull up and that's what it looks like so far i'm gonna show y'all more though but yeah and get into the beat please uh-uh what's this mm -mm, what's that and yes get into the beat i did her in like 10 minutes if you want a video let me know it's fine but all right Okay guys, so they're playing music and it's a little bit loud, of course, but first impressions, this place is amazing. It's so pretty, it's huge. There's like a downstairs area too, outside. I didn't know about all that, but it's so gorgeous. Like, 
I know I'm gonna put some clips in for you guys. The, 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 is here the one? Chef's kiss, okay. Um, it's a large space. It's really damn. It gives eight night vibes. It is cute. As far as their menu goes, they have some starters and small plates that are on the more affordable side in terms of pricing. And then they have some larger entrees that range from 30 to 40 and then 60 to $70. So I would say like mid to high in terms of price point. What I love to do is go on Yelp and put an image to the actual description of the menu so I know exactly what I'm getting so I can kind of get an idea of the portion size and things like that. So I would highly recommend downloading Yelp, girl. Helps me out all the time. Okay, y'all, I'm checking in because I'm waiting for my friend. She got the time to mixed up, so she a little late. But something I saw on Yelp that I really wanted to try, which is their street, their grilled street corn. It's not available for dinner. It's only available for brunch. So I'm gonna think about that. And then y'all, I got dressed up all nice and cute. I have on heels and the, the um, restroom is downstairs. So I played myself because going downstairs on heels is crazy. But we gonna make it work. Okay. Look at their glasses. They're so pretty. Fun fact, my friends um, steal these from a certain restaurant in DC. Every time we go to brunch, they're so pretty. Their water is good too. And so far, the service is really good. Okay, you guys, the restaurant's fire. First off, their individual stalls. And look at this big ass mirror. and they're non-gender conforming. Hello. Get into it. I just don't like the fact that I had to walk downstairs to get to the bathroom, but, and it's really clean, like, and it smells good. And it's stacked up, good lighting. So this is the Mercado. It's basically a margarita. It was $14 and it's really pretty. Cheers, bitch. She drunk without me. <laughs> it has a unique taste. It's not too strong. But it's gonna get the job done. Yeah. Thank you. That was so bad. It's good. It's a little tart, but I like it. I like it. You probably gotta like stir it up too. You don't got no straws. Cause I don't like drinking off the cup. I got lip gloss. Give me a straw, babe. Isn't that the no? That's a salsa? Yeah. Oh, there's your salsa. Chili and lime. Yeah, definitely. We taste it like chili and lime. Okay, we're trying the salsa. Like talking to someone. Really? Yeah. And it's a habanero. Oh, that's misleading. <laughs> it's a habanero and it's not spicy at all. It tastes like a taco. Yeah. It has more flavors than last night's salsa. Last night's salsa at Don Taco tastes awesome. like fucking uh, marinara sauce. But it's very citrusy. Yeah, that's the kind of guy. Like the. It'll probably taste good in combination with the queso. Cause I'm glad yeah. we got it. I told y'all, I'm a foodie. I'm a fire ass. I'm getting so excited. My mouth is watering. <laughs> it's bubbling, y'all. Oh. I just say it like that. It's bubbling, y'all. It's bubbling. Let me pull up what I was Whatever they got is smoking. I know that's right and never ever wrong. Period. Oh, okay. That's what I don't appreciate. Okay, so don't come with pics. 
Mexican restaurant, I think that's how you pronounce it. So I think overall, I will give it like a 9.2 out of 10. So let's talk about what everybody cares about, the food. The food tastes great. And I wish I had my camera recording during this specific part of like the conversation I had with the server because also she was amazing. But she was telling me how in their kitchen they ha they don't have any gas stoves. They only do like wood grill, wood flame, everything. So certain things taste a little like burnt, I would say. Like specifically my chicken for my entree. It had a little crispy, you know, like that barbecue burnt type of flavor, which I don't mind. Some people may find that to be a little too, like, overpowering, but um, I think my carrots were the same. I wasn't expecting that for my veggies, but everything had good flavor. The queso was good, but we couldn't finish it with just two pieces. We didn't take it home because it's like queso. Like, I don't know, but I don't have a small, like, ceramic dish to put it in the oven so it can be like new again i don't know so that was a little bit of a waste of money because we didn't take it home and um i would have rather the queso come with chips instead of like them little blue corn tortillas you know if you get queso or salsa or guac you're gonna expect it to come with chips but other than that the drinks were good the food overall we're giving like an eight out of ten on its own it was okay. I think I've had better Mexican food, but overall, like the ambiance, the service, the restaurant in itself was really, really nice. 10 out of 10. You guys, they have a whole entire speakeasy downstairs. It's across from where the restaurants are, and I thought that was cool. We didn't go. We didn't attend because we was full and ready to go home, y'all, but that's cool. So if you ever go there, you know that... <clears throat> So if you ever go to that restaurant, y'all have like extra entertainment to go to afterwards. And she said the bar down there serves like different cocktails than the actual restaurant. I love, I want to go back for brunch because I want to try their street corn and some other things that I've seen. But yeah, y'all, I give it a 9.2, 9.3 out of 10. Will I go back? Yeah. I had Shannon as my waitress. She was amazing. Love her. If you ever see this girl, you did great. Um, even with the, even like the servers who come and like refill your water, they were on it. They asked to take stuff out of our hands, you know, like clear the, that, they ain't supposed to do that, but you know, they were always cleaning the table. She put my to-go bags in the bag for me. Like she put my to-go box in the bag for me. I didn't have to. It was nice. Okay. I would go back. Um, I would just probably order something different. 
Rahel's enchiladas enchiladas how do you say it? were really really good but yeah um and i really appreciated the server because she was giving my pescatarian friend advice she immediately like explained some of the menu items that she liked specifically some of her faves and i thought those were real cool because some servers don't give up to be honest but yeah that's it for Delina, however you pronounce it. I will be going back. If y'all ever went there, please tell me your experience in the description box below. Not the description box, girl. In the comments down below. <laughs> and um, if you guys have any questions about the restaurant, anything that I left out, please let me know because this is my first ever restaurant review. So I want to get better. Um, I wanted to like record the server because she was great at explaining things, but I don't like putting cameras in people's faces. So yeah, y'all, the rest of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like so I know you like really fuck with the series. And if so, I'll be sure to film some more very soon for y'all. But thank you again. I love y'all so much for your support. It means the world to me. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, mamas.